are here at a fashion show where we have designers and artists who have created wearable clothing made out of recycled materials. The Festival of Arts has been here next summer, it'll be 85 years. And we started out as a teeny tiny art show where artists just hung their work on fence posts and we're now a huge juried art show with 140 exhibiting artists. The artists that were in the Festival Runway Fashion Show today were not selected. We put that out to all 140 artists and it's a competition, a runway competition using recycled materials in their creations. The prize categories are the most innovative use of material, creativity, the wow factor, and most elegant for the runway. There is actually one more category, which is the People's Choice Award, and they are voting now as we speak to decide which outfit they think is the best. Each of the five awards will get $1,000 to the designer. There were things that stood out in a couple of different things. You know, that glamorous uh, gown made of film strips. I'm like, I always wondered what I was gonna do with those VCR tapes. And I loved Mariana that looked like coral and there was a little child and just magic, um, ethereal and whimsical and wonderful. I mean, the fact that they are twisting plastic bags and making something that is just a spectacular piece of art that's wearable is impressive to me. <laughs> These artists are so creative and it's so wonderful that they can make something out of nothing really that other people throw away. I like the one, the little girl, and I like the girl with all the trash items on her. Recycling is important because it helps our planet and it decreases pollution. My inspiration for the dress this year called Golden Romance was Alexander McQueen's work. And this is made out of over 8,000 feet of VHS tape and VHS machines just stopped getting made last month. So we wanted to pay an homage to this time period and each piece is attached one at a time. Our creation was coral theme and these are all different plastic bags that I twisted with a drill. So like some of the red bags I picked up at Dana Point Harbor, this was a tablecloth, um, some biohazard bags, sorry sister. And then this piece was just old wire I found and, and more garbage. This is my creation in Fondo Almar under the sea based on the Roman pool at Hearst Castle. Mostly gum wrappers and then candy wrappers, a few protein bar wrappers in there and there are thousands of them. The first award, may I, I am happy to announce in the most exciting ensemble that has a wow factor is Brad Ellsbury. Yeah. Most creative concept, Mariana Nelson. Yeah. The award for the most innovative use of materials goes to John Toll. Yeah. Elegant red carpet worthy creation goes to Adam Neely. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And now the one we've all been waiting for, the People's Choice Award, goes to Adam Neely. Yeah. Teddy Bajan, we want to give you an award as well. Yeah. We love the sentiment, we love your inspiration. We love your outfit. So I was walking on the beach and I said, God, give me a sign. And God gave me this uh, Burger King tray. And, said, and I said, okay, now I have a sign. I have to make a sign out of it. What am I going to put on the sign? And I was talking to a little boy when I was sewing my outfit out of a beach towel I found in the surf. And his mom said, remember how we go to the camping and we always pick up five pieces of trash? So I said, great, five. I'm going to put a five. Everything in my outfit I made out of about 200 pieces of trash I found on the beach. The only thing here in my outfit that did not come from the beach where it didn't belong was a trash bag, which is what we should take to the beach and pick up our trash. So I was really happy they gave me a special award. I feel really glad this is over and I'm really happy to take this hat off.